I'm so jealous. Nigga, fuck. I came from nothing. Shoot out in public. Riding buses. What's up, guys? Beautiful San Diego downtown. Check it out. Yeah. So, I got some good news. Real good news. So, you know, in my situation, I'm homeless due to my uh, condition, my extreme anxiety condition, you know. I'm not a lazy person, you know. I have a place to sleep, my mom's crib. And I can get placed, but I just avoid that because of panic attacks. I almost committed suicide. Well, yeah, um, I just got a, a place right now. The place I got, uh, I didn't get a place, like, buy it, but I got accepted to Section 8. Section 8 housing. And uh, the, the housing I got into, um, uh, Section 8, I got lucky. They said that I was, um, I'm headed to my storage right now. That's where I leave my stuff and I shower at the gym and stuff like that. But the gym is closed, so I got to go to the homeless shelter. But I got accepted to Section 8 housing. Section 8 housing. And, uh, the housing is, uh, I was, they said I was lucky. I was the last person in the list. I made it. I've been working on this housing program now for almost a year. And that was my fault, though. I was going slow. But I got the housing. It's an apartment, one-bedroom apartment. And, yeah, man, that's I, I like this because I'm going to be able to do more work, you know, and uh, more work because I've been working on a new business. It's not the music business. The music business, I actually stopped working on it. That's why you don't see me posting a lot. It's because... Um, the new business I'm working on is I'm doing it to get money to invest on this on the music production business. And the music production I'm doing is just showing people how to make money. I don't make money from it, but I feel like there's a big problem with this industry. So I want to create a community where we can all together show methods, show strategies we built, and just share it to the community. You know, that's what I'm going to create the social network. But I'm going to show you guys my friend, one of my friends. His name is. I'm not gonna say his name, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. So, if you guys want to like another giveaway to make money with music production, it's actually create a forum or a social network, which is gonna take a lot more skill. A forum is easy because there's softwares available. Just look at forum softwares. There's a free one called PHPBB. I'll leave the link on the video. It's a free software. You can create a form right away, and it's uh, it has it has easy to do it. Um, it might take you like two weeks to learn it, but uh, you can do that. Create you a form and show people how to make money with music, and you're gonna have a lot of visitors. There's no forum that shows people how to make money with music as a community. There's all there is is just forums on how to make music, produce music, but not how to make money. There is a uh, there is an internet marketing forum called Black Hat World and also warrior forum these people show people how to make money with inter in the internet so that's what i'm trying to do you know and I, I used to do that for many years Woo! i know it's a change of scenery but uh i wanted to uh you know show you guys where i'm at you just seen me in my storage that was like what six hours ago i had to take a break i was talking to one of my best friends Woo. You know, look at that site, man. That's that entrepreneur site. You know, I work here all day long. I work here. I work here like I have my laptop. I'm recording with my laptop right now. This big ass shit. But it's a decent laptop, you know. Um, the, the I think the graphic card, the graphic card or one of something is wrong. That's why it's black and white. But yeah, look at that site. Black and white. Look at that site. San Diego. This is where I work at. Every, this is where I come at. Because, you know, coronavirus, the library's closed. I usually be at the library, but everything is closed right now. Let me see if this is recording. I'm about to get into the conversation. Yeah. Man, so... Somebody's calling me. So, I know I'm black as shit. Let me get on the sun. Damn. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's better. So, um, like I told you guys, that's what you guys want to do. You know, you want to create yourself a social network. You can hire somebody to do it. Um, it's really cheap. You well, I know how to do it cheap because I've been I've been I've been outsourcing, outsourcing for a long time. Outsourcing means um, getting people to, to do you stuff. You know, I'm back in the um, Fiverr. I was using Fiverr all the time. I had people create me software from there. I had a lot of trials. I had like four softwares, but if you're talking about attempts, I had like maybe 20 attempts with softwares that didn't go right. So four that I used. Um, and it taught me a lot about outsourcing. Outsourcing means hiring people to do stuff. So, you know, let me talk about myself. You know, I did it in prior videos, but I'm going to explain some different elements. Um, and, you know, uh, uh, I'm 27 years old. I'm going to be 28 in four more months. I know I look kind of young, but uh, I'm 27 right now. I'm 27. Um, the reason I know... I'm lucky enough to have grinded in my past, trying to make money online. That taught me all these skills that I can apply now. You know, um, when I when I was uh, when I was 19, uh, before I was homeless, I've been homeless now since 2000 uh, October 2015. Right now it's uh, it's uh, August 2020. So that's roughly. Almost four years. I've been almost homeless for four years. But before I was homeless, when I was, I can, I'm homeless, but I can like, I, I can live with some, I can live with my mom right now. She got a place for me. And, you know, I, you know, we're African, you know, so uh, I got a place I can live with my mom. But the thing is, um, the thing is, let's see if somebody's watching me. You know, uh, I don't want to because it gives me panic attacks. I'm gonna explain. Keep hanging on and explain that. It gives me a panic attack living in places, so I became homeless to escape the panic attack because I almost committed suicide. And it was just, you know, I don't want to suffer like that all day long getting panic attacks, so I'd rather be homeless. I have less panic attacks have to worry about. And you know, I don't, you know, so when I was 19, I was, I came back from Nebraska. Uh, I'm from California, but I lived in Nebraska for two years. When I was 16, I lived in Nebraska for two years. So I came back when I was, uh, Two and a half years. I came back when I was uh, 19. So I stayed, and when I came back a year later, not even a year, like seven, seven months or ten months later, I get a, a spam message on YouTube. Well, I'm going to explain to you how I started learning how to make money online and the things I know now, my my experience. Um, that's what I'm going to get into. So just keep hanging on. I don't mean I'm not going to start talking about myself. Uh, when I was 19, uh, I get a spam message. The spam message, the guy says, if you want to make money online. And a lot of people won't take that risk because they, they get scared. They get scared they're going to get scammed or they get scared that I don't know how to do it, so I might not do it. But at that time, I was like, no, man, I, you know, I want to make money. I was an entrepreneur, and I was waiting for a time like this. You know, it happened right at the right time. Now, I started becoming an entrepreneur at 16, but... I didn't really have nothing until that came. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do this, man. I, I want to do this. And uh, it, was a, it was a make money online product. It was called Mobile Monopoly. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard it. You can Google it. But it was called Mo Mobile Monopoly. I forgot the, this, this uh, dude. Um, tried that, searched it up for like three days. I looked it up. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I just didn't want it. I, I don't know remember why. Something about it I just didn't like. But I didn't quit though, because that that three day research, two day research, three days taught me some things. See, I took a risk and I learned some stuff from that risk. That gave me confidence. That so what I learned, I took what I learned and I looked for another program on YouTube. I was I think I don't remember what I did, but I stumbled upon this this program called Instant Payday Network. Uh, and it ended up being an MLM. It was an internet marketing MLM, online MLM, not offline MLM, where you recruit people in the mall or knocking the doors or make cold calls. It wasn't like that. This one was a. Uh, this one was a. Uh, 
was a online based MLM. So they had they had stuff like uh, funnels, email auto uh, auto responders. Auto responders are email marketing softwares like Mailchimp, uh, Aweber, GetResponse, automated messages, and uh, and uh, landing capture pages, what are actually called landing pages. Back in the day, they used to call it capture pages. So, uh, so I started learning about that stuff. So it gave me, uh, I, the, when I joined that program, I did that for six months, and I learned a lot about internet marketing. I be, uh, and I became better in that as an internet marketer, you know. I am an internet marketer, so uh, I learned a lot of that stuff. Um, I learned a lot of that stuff. Uh, I learned a lot of it, you know, and did that for six months. And uh, something I, you know, I ended up, this is something I should, I regret doing. I should have just stayed to one money-making system or one business but in, t in, in my life when i started i moved to a lot of businesses when this, things get hard and you're not making any money i will go to a different business i was young though i didn't know this now i realize that's a mistake that's a common mistake about people that try to make money online uh they go from one business or one method to another method you know or one strategy to another strategy it's all the same thing uh so i after the instant paid network online uh, the online mlm company uh I end up learning. Uh, I gave up, and I was like, "Let me I find out another way," you know. So I, uh, that that time, my 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 make money online knowledge was bit got, gotten better, you know. So I knew a lot of stuff. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna just do ClickBank because that time I heard about ClickBank and stuff like that. And I did ClickBank. I created my first website. It was called Anxiety Reviews. It was called Anxiety Reviews. Anxiety Reviews, you know, because I was always in the because uh, I had my uh, social anxiety. Um, they said I have some schizophrenia too. I've had that since I was like 13. So ever since I was 13, I would always be on forums, researching about my anxiety, watching YouTube videos. You know, I had some, I've known a lot of learning about stuff about psychology and stuff. So uh, I created that anxiety reviews because I was like, that's a good niche. Niche means a certain sector in an industry, like a category in the business. You know, look Google what niche is. Internet marketing word niche. So I got into that niche. I created my first website. It was a blog. It was on WordPress.com. WordPress, not WordPress.com. WordPress.org. Uh, I did that for like four or five months, and I was writing. I was doing article spinning, article spinning. Uh, you know, and I uh, I was getting traffic, some traffic. I had created my second, another website after that. It was a it was a set landing page. Uh, a landing page and I had capturing people's emails. Then I was using, using uh, Aweber autoresponder, and um, I didn't get a lot of money from that. I only made one sell that five months, and uh, the one sell I did was a recurring payment. It was forty dollars each month, but the person didn't pay after the second month, I think. Uh, but I ended up going from there. At, when I was on there, I had uh, pirated a course. I pirated a course. Yeah, I pirated a course. It was from the Google Sniper dude. Back in the days, there used to be the biggest product launch ever was Google Sniper by George Montague Brown. Oh, that guy, I pirated one of his courses. I think it was called the, the Dominator or the Predator, his course. And I learned in that course, oh shit, uh, you can, it taught me, uh, you can, one method he taught was, which I didn't see no one doing, is buying social media accounts from people. You can buy social media accounts. So if somebody has a million view, million followers, somebody who's some random dude you can actually message them tell them hey, can i buy your uh, social media for like 70 100 200 bucks and I, I had went through youtube that was like 2013 i went to youtube asking a lot of people i got a lot of rejections but one guy from egypt had a million a, a music channel a music a, a music uh, 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 a uh, a music uh a music uh channel which had millions of views each one he was from egypt i later learned uh, and uh, he, uh, uh, I bought it from him for 70 bucks. No lie, I swear. I had a guy, I had, but I got had got a lot of no's. So I'm not saying this was easy. I had got a lot of no's, but I got that guy, and I bought it from him for 70. I didn't know what to do with it, uh, you know. So I put on like a affiliate link from a CPA network. A CPA network is a type of affiliate network, which was paying me per lead, 
every lead I give them, they would pay me like $3 or 20 cents. Or not 20 cents, like a dollar or three. Anyways, I did that. That shit failed. The dude, he did some shit. He got him back into the account. He hacked him back to the account. I don't know what he did, but at that time, I, didn't, I wasn't an internet savvy. I think he had a, a two-step authenticator or two-factor authenticator or, or a recovery email. I, now I think about it, it something like that probably. Anyways, that, that didn't work. Uh, I gave up on that, you know. So I had focused on, by that time though, I was, I got, you know, I, uh, I was at Black Hat World, the forum. I was always in the forum every day, researching threads, new methods. And I learned, uh, I learned, I learned that time I learned uh, about bots and stuff. I was learning about bots and stuff, like bots. So I had bought a bot from Black Hat World. I, I bought a bot. I bought a bot, a bot from Black Hat World. And the bot I bought from Black Hat World uh, was a Tumblr bot. Uh, I did, now, did, now I was like, fuck it, I paid the Tumblr accounts. I was doing Tumblr for like six months. That didn't work, you know? That didn't work, Tumblr didn't work. Uh, so I, uh, I, but I learned so much. So I went to new business, uh, chat traffic, which is e-whoring, e-whoring. When you create fake profiles and you make guys dine, date, uh, sign up to dating sites and uh, dating and webcam sites. You've seen webcam sites? I know you guys be on that X videos, pornography, pornography. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you know, so I was like, I, I got, uh, I just learned about chat traffic and whoring and I was making people sign up to dating sites and webcam sites and I was getting $60 to 100 I got good in the end where I, I, I found people that were, would give me 100 for each sign up, uh, uh, credit card sign up. They didn't have to purchase anything. All they had to do was put get one dollar of credit, and I would get 100 because these people would make more money from the long run, so they would give me 100. So I was doing that, man. I did that for like uh, it was a it was a good way to make money though. Uh, I did that. I was one of the easiest ones to make money with, and I was making like 40 dollars a day. Uh, my highest one was I made 300 one day, and I made 300 the next day. And my mom, uh, my mom, I, that was the best time I, sh I came, I showed my mom because that's the most money I ever made, 300 and uh, you know, I grinded, the, you know, at that time, I didn't know it, but uh, I was, uh, I showed my mom and uh, I was working 15 hours a day since I started internet marketing. I work 8 o'clock to, to uh, 12, to, uh, to, to 11.30 p.m., 15 hours, and uh, uh, I would show my mom and she, she my mom sighed. And she was like, wow, you're still working on this business? You don't talk a lot about it, you know? And I was like, yeah, did you see that? You know, and she was like, wow, 300. You know, um, and I would, I didn't know back in the day, I, now that I, after I became homeless, spending some time away from the business for a long time, I didn't, you know, I, uh, I just got back last year, like in 2019, the first of two, this, no, no, the, the fourth, fourth of the uh, April, April 2019, you know, Nipsey Hussle, when, kind of like when Nipsey Hussle died, but I'm not saying he influenced me to get back, he did a lot, you know, uh, he did, but he, that's not why, you know, I was already coming back before he died, uh, uh, I look back, I was working 15 hours a day, I didn't know that, only when I, after I became homeless, I would think about that time I was standing in my room, I was like, whoa, I used to wake up 8 in the morning and work till 11.30 every day, no break, well, yeah, breaks. I take some breaks, but I never like took too long of a break, you know. And um, that's what would, uh, I would do. Uh, uh, I would do that. And uh, you know, when I showed my mom that that was a good time. And um, yeah. So I did that for like that chat traffic, e whoring, what you call it. I wasn't a whore, I just had whores. Yeah, I had whores. Now, at one point I did have like, I hired a, uh, 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 I'll tell you this one, you can try to do that. I had a virtual assistant. She, I got this from Easy Outsource. It's a website called Easy Outsource where you can hire Filipinos. And I was trying to teach her how to do it so I can automate the work. You know, I could have did that. I did that, but I quit on that. But but I should have continued doing that. But I'm not getting... So this business, I told you, I can go right now and make money from it. But I'm not... When I came return for after a long break from internet marketing, 
I was like, man, I'm not going to return to a business of scamming people, you know? It's not that bad of a scam. You're not taking their money a lot, but, you know, you're lying because you, the girl's not real. And um, false promise, false, you know, misleading people. But you're not, it's not worse like carding. I never did those crazy ones. But I probably would have got to that point when, never, you know, I was young and I was like, I was young, man. I would have continued that point. I would have probably got there. But uh, thanks God I, uh, that happened, you know. And uh, when I stopped that, uh, when I uh, when I did the, uh, so yeah, uh, I had stopped. Uh, my condition got worse, you know. My condition got worse. Uh, my condition got worse. Right when I was making all that money, my shit just got worse. And I'm like, damn, man. I told my mom, bro, can we move from this house? Because the neighbors, we had, oh, that was the worst apartment I ever been with the most craziest sound. They had a kid behind me, some other kid downstairs. Some kids would be outside. Some people with neighbors would be outside. They would just run. Every corner is some sound, you know? Because uh, I know that now because I've moved to different places. And I, that was, I realized that was the worst place. And I was like, because I'm getting panic attacks and I'm about to kill myself, man. That's why I was working hard in the internet marketing because uh, I was grinding so hard because I was trying to, like, live in a house that was secluded in, like, Idaho, have so much money, you know? I was even uh, Craigslisting those areas. But anyways, we moved in, uh, to a new place. And uh, that time, like, I got, uh, we moved to a new place. Uh, you know, that time, too, I was doing drugs to make myself happy. I was doing MDMA, ecstasy. And I was smoking weed every day and, uh, and cigarettes, too. But I stopped. I've been clean since then because I almost died. Uh, uh, I, was, I did some... Uh, I did some a, a drug, and uh, it almost it made me uh, get these demonic whatever I, this feeling of demons, and they were like making me. I, I wasn't high no more. Uh, I had I had come down sober out of nowhere. I just get high, and I start feeling these things touching me. And they took me to the doctor. They said they said two more hours, my heart rate. I would have died because my heart rate was so high for a long time. And they said two more hours of that that high uh, that high heart rate you would have died so you know so i was ever since then i stopped doing any type of drug man i was like fuck it and i like that you know i'm focused now uh so you know you know that's after we moved to that new house you know um i had stopped doing the drugs and stuff like that and i was in the house for like uh, a new apartment i'm sorry it was in san diego it was in a, in a san diego alcohol city you know uh i was there for Four months, no, no, like three, four months, you know. Uh, neighbors started making a lot of noises, and that's when I get an idea. I was like, man, I'll just, what if I just become homeless and escape all these noises from neighbors? Because it gives me a panic attack. It's not fun to get a panic attack and such suffering. I had extreme amount of suffering from that. I would get panic attacks all the time. I'm like, I'm just going to become homeless so I can escape the noise. Not become homeless because I gave up. And, well, it's kind of like giving up, but I was still productive, you know? I would still be productive. And I was like, man, I need to stop working on this business. My work, life is more important. I need to kill myself. So I would, when I became homeless, I would try to read books and stuff like that. And little by little, though, when I became homeless, uh, I start really giving up, though. I start giving up. I start doing bad things. I start giving up. But I never did drugs because I was scared to do drugs. I didn't want to die. That's one thing I didn't do that was bad. I was like, no, I can't die, man. I just, I want to go back to the hospital. But I was like, you know, I was stealing and stuff when I was homeless. I stopped doing that, though, eventually. Uh, so I was homeless since 2015, October 2015. Right now, it's uh, 2020, August, August 2nd, 2020. Uh, probably when I upload this on YouTube, it might be three days from now, two days. So the, the time is going to be a little bit later. But that's because I'm probably going to postpone the upload. Uh, so I was, I was homeless for four years, you know, but three of those years, that's when I was gave up and I was like traveling around states, stealing, providing for myself. You know, I, I went to Mississippi, North Carolina, Nebraska, uh, Miami, Los Angeles, I was, Los Angeles, that's where I was at the most, but I was just bummy. I would be dressed bummy and stuff. I gave up. I didn't want to wear good clothes and stuff like that. And, um, and like and like 2006 i became homeless in uh uh october 2015 so when i was homeless in 2016 like a like a like a kind of like seven or eight months later i meet i'm in 
I mean, uh, I'm in this, I'm, a, I'm sitting down outside this restaurant. I'm sitting outside and sitting down eating some, uh, some stuff. I had like EBT, so I bought some, uh, 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 KFC. Damn, I hope my lip wasn't, yeah. I'm taking these medications right now, so my lip kind of gets white. My lip can get white a little bit. I apologize. I do take care of myself. I have swag, you know? I really do have swag. I have swag, man. I don't have a lot of money to buy it. Stuff, buy stuff right now. But I am getting money, though, of the new business I'm in. So, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So I met him, and he helped me get back up. It took, like, two, three years, though. We always talked. I was trying to help him grow his business. I met him because he had an Instagram page. Uh, handshakes, he was trying to grow that niche, so I would give him advice for like two or three years, but we had a good connection, we had, we were like homeboys, and we also have like business interests, so I was hoping through that, but the little that I know, he, he wouldn't even know about motivations, the personal development too, so he was helping me out, and I, he, you know, he, I think that's a big factor that played into why I became back again, and uh, talking to him about business probably inspired me to get back in the business, so I, when I came back, I came back, uh, and the business has been, uh, uh, like uh, March, I mean, sorry, April 2019, I had came back to the business, March uh, 2019, uh, you know, because I feel if we are if we are together, you know, if we all come together, we can come up with a lot of ways and we can, you know, we can break barriers and make breakthroughs in this in this, in this, in this music production community, you know? So that's when I thought that it would be good to make a social network that, not for me to show people how to make money, but for everybody to come together and bring ways to make money with music. Uh, successful with the business. It doesn't have to be money because money is not always the goal. You know, sometimes money doesn't bring happiness. That's true, by the way. Uh, look up about uh, extrinsic and uh, extrinsic and intrinsic happiness. That's a little something for you guys. But uh, um, yeah, so when I when I did that, I thought about that. Uh, so when I did that, I was like, yeah. And um, right when I thought of like. Like two days that, two days later, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I'm 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 at I'm at, Ch I'm at Chula Vista walking, uh, you know, to where I sleep, and one of these dudes, this homeless, he's a brother, he uh, he was homeless dude that I see once in a while. He's new to this, you know. He said, "Hey man, did you know Nipsey Hussle died?" I was like, "What?" I was like, "Damn," and um, I don't know Nipsey Hussle. Like he was that he was, I never used to listen to him like that. I wasn't a fan. I knew him, you know, his music was decent. I mean, his music was, uh, it was decent, you know? I mean, it's not, like, he was my favorite rapper, you know? Like, I didn't, never really had a favorite rapper. I just listened to everybody because I don't have a favorite basketball team. I just uh, watch everybody. So I'm, I'm like that, you know, I don't have, uh, I, I do now have a favorite rapper, you know? Tay K, that little dude, that's a, he's sick. But, uh, uh, so he told me that and I'm like, what? Man, day, next day I look up and I look him up some more and I he's realized he died and um you know that's what happened man and uh man when I was researching him a lot I was like man this dude is like me you know he's a he's a hustler you know and that time like I told you two days before that I, I, like not a few days before that I was you know I came to the conclusion that I wanted to make a social network you know that shows people and I was always looking that those, those few days I was always trying to find a name for it you know and right when I not seen him I was like man he's I got an idea from his name, you know, I was like, damn, Hustler, you know, this is what, the, this is what Hustle is all about, hustling, and like a music loop, you always hustle, you know, and that music loop doesn't end, you know, it's always looping, the same loop, whatever, whatever track you have, it just, you know, so I was like, yeah, Hustle, and I came up with the name, um, yeah, man, and, uh, yeah, man, rest in peace, you know, but I, I, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. He inspired the name, but I didn't name it after him like that, you know? Like, 
it wasn't like I told you, I wasn't a fan or his favorite fanboy, but now I am though, because he really inspired me. There's times when I was low, felt low, I look up his video, the one with him is sitting in jail, getting interviewed. I think he had he made a movie and he was getting interviewed for the movie. He's sitting in jail and he's like, one first thing is, take doubt. You know, if you have doubt, it's not gonna happen. That that really inspired me. You know, and there's some more. You know, I was looking at a lot of his videos and yeah. So yeah, man. You know, um, that's it. Um, what I was gonna say. So that's how us Luke came coming to be. And stick around for the next episode. We're gonna keep rising. Uh, this hustle is going to keep rising, man. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if trying to create your own hustle or create your own uh, whatever you're trying to do, come at me. for the, uh, Come at me. I'll help you out. You know, I'll try my best to help out, you know. And, um, yeah. Always hustle.